John Werner Kahn January 9, 1928 to March 14, 2016, was an American scientist and recipient of the 1998 National Medal of Science. Born in Cologne, Weimar, Germany, he was a professor in the Department of Metallurgy at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology from 1964 to 1978. From 1977, he held a position at the National Institute of Standards and Technology formerly the National Bureau of Standards. Kahn had a profound influence on the course of materials research during his career. One of foremost authorities on thermodynamics, Kahn applied the basic laws of thermodynamics to describe and predict a wide range of physical phenomena. Biography <inaudible> 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 Hans Werner Kahn was born in Cologne, Germany, to a Jewish family. His father was an anti Nazi lawyer and his mother an ex ray technician. In 1933, Adolf Hitler became Chancellor of Germany, and the elder Kahn escaped arrest only because he had been forewarned by a fellow lawyer. The family fled Germany and eventually ended up in Amsterdam. They emigrated to America in 1939, where Hans became John. Most of his family back in Europe perished in the Holocaust. The Cans settled in New York City. John Can became an American citizen in 1945. Serving in the United States Army, he was stationed in Japan during its occupation by the Allies. Can received a bachelor's degree in chemistry in 1949 from the University of Michigan. He later earned a PhD in physical chemistry in 1953 from the University of California at Berkeley. His doctoral thesis was titled the oxidation of isotopically labeled hydrazine", and his thesis advisor was R. E. Powell. In 1954, Kahn joined the chemical metallurgy research effort at the General Electric Laboratory in Schenectady, New York, led by David Turnbull. Turnbull had done pioneering work on the kinetics of nucleation, and there was a focus in the group on understanding the thermodynamics and kinetics of phase transformations in solids. In 1964, Kahn became a professor in the Department of Metallurgy now Materials Science at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. He left MIT in 1978. In 1969, Kahn began a long professional relationship with his graduate student, Francis Larcher, whose work focused on the effect of mechanical stress on the thermodynamics of solids. The larche kahn approach is the cornerstone of the treatment of the thermodynamics of stressed materials. Good examples of this phenomenon are the regions near a coherent precipitate or the stress field around a dislocation. In 1972, Kahn worked with David W. Hoffman to formulate vector-based thermodynamics to describe the thermodynamics of interfaces, a formulation which is necessary to account for anisotropic materials. This is also known as the capillary vector formulation of interface energies. The mathematics of this treatment involves the concept of norms, although Kahn and Hoffman were unaware of it at the time. In 1975, Kahn worked with his graduate student Sam Allen on phase transitions in iron alloys, including order-disorder transitions. This work led to the Allen-Kahn equation. From 1984, he was an affiliate professor at the University of Washington. Work. The spinodal In 1957, Kahn worked with John E. Hilliard to develop the Kahn Hilliard equation, which describes the thermodynamic forces driving phase separation in many systems, and developed the joint theory of spinodal decomposition. <laughs> Solidification In the theory of crystal growth, Kahn concluded that the distinguishing feature is the ability of the surface to reach an equilibrium state in the presence of a thermodynamic driving force typically in the form of the degree of undercooling. He also concluded that for every surface or interface in a crystalline medium, there exists a critical driving force, which, if exceeded, will enable the surface or interface to advance normal to itself, and, if not exceeded, will require the lateral growth mechanism. Thus, for sufficiently large driving forces, the interface can move uniformly without the benefit of either a heterogeneous nucleation or screw dislocation mechanism. What constitutes a sufficiently large driving force depends upon the diffuseness of the interface, so that for extremely diffuse interfaces, this critical driving force will be so small that any measurable driving force will exceed it. 
Alternatively, for sharp interfaces, the critical driving force will be very large, and most growth will occur by the lateral step mechanism. Droplets and surfaces In 1977, Kahn published a simple mathematical treatment of the thermodynamics of wetting, the interaction between a liquid in contact with a solid surface. This paper laid out a simple formulation for describing the wetting transition the point at which a liquid changes from forming a droplet on a surface to spreading out evenly as a liquid film over the surface. This theory had wide ranging implications for many materials processing techniques. Quasi-crystals In 1982, Dan Schechtman observed a new crystalline structure with puzzling features. Kahn contributed to the theory of how such a structure could be thermodynamically stable and became co-author of the seminal paper which introduced quasi-crystals. <laughs> Glass transition In 2004, Kahn and Bendersky presented evidence that an isotropic non-crystalline metallic phase, dubbed Hue glass, can be grown from the melt. This is the primary phase to form in the Alpha C system during rapid cooling. Experimental evidence indicates that this phase forms by a first-order transition. TEM images show that the Q glass nucleates from the melt as discrete particles, which grow spherically with a uniform growth rate in all directions. The diffraction pattern shows it to be an isotropic glassy phase. Yet there is a nucleation barrier, which implies an interfacial discontinuity or internal surface between the glass and the melt. <laughs> Research in retirement In his retirement, Kahn accepted a position at the University of Washington as an affiliate professor in the Departments of Materials Science and Engineering and Physics. Personal life He had three children and six grandsons. In retirement, he lived in Seattle, Washington, with his wife, Anne Hessing Kahn. He died from leukemia in Seattle on March 14, 2016. Topic honors and awards 2011 The Kyoto Prize, Inamori Foundation 2002 Bauer Prize, Franklin Institute 2001 Emil Hain Medal, German Metallurgical Society 2001 Honorary Life Member, American Ceramic Society 1999 Backeyes Roosboon Lecturer and Gold Medal, Netherlands Academy of Sciences 1998 National Medal of Science 1998 Member, National Academy of Engineering 1998 Distinguished GE Lecturer in Materials Science at RPI 69 and back quote 98 McDonald lecturer Canadian Metallurgical Society 1996 Dr Honoris Causa Université d'Ivry France 1995 Harvey Prize Technion 1994 Rockwell Medal Hall of Fame for Engineering Science and Technology and Medal International Technology Institute 1994 Gold Medal Honorary Member Japan Institute of Metals 1993 Inland Steel Lecture, Northwestern University. 1993 Hume Rothery Award, TMS. 1993 Cyril Stanley Smith Lecturer, University of Chicago. 1992 Honorary Member, Mrs. India. 1991 Michelson Morley Award, Case Western University. 1990 Honorary S.C. D., Northwestern University, Hilliard Lecturer. 1989 Sauveur Award, ASM International. 1987 Distinguished Physics Lecturer, Boston University. 1986 Stratton Award, National Bureau of Standards. 1985 Von Hippel Award, Materials Research Society. 1984 Gold Medal, U.S. Department of Commerce. 1983 Distinguished Lecturer, University of Connecticut. 1982 Gallic Lecturer, University of Missouri, Rolla, Mo. 1981 Fellow, Japan Society for the Promotion of Science. 1981 Dixon Prize, Carnegie Mellon University. 1980 Honorary Professor, Zhao Tong University, Shanghai, China. 1979 Van Horn Lecturer, Case Western University. 1978 Dorn Lecturer, Northwestern University. 1977 Acta Metallurgica Gold Medal. 1974 Fellow, American Academy of Arts and Sciences. 
1973 member, National Academy of Sciences. 1968 Institute of Metals Lecturer, Amy. 1966 S. B. Meyer Award, American Ceramic Society, 1960–61 Guggenheim Fellowship spent at the University of Cambridge, Goldsmith Laboratory. 1951 Allied Chemical and Dye Fellowship at University of California, Berkeley. References External links Biography and publications The Can Hilliard equation, The Allen Can equation, Quasi crystals, Glass transition